Hi, and thank you for joining me for today's quick tip related to flexor tendon rehabilitation. Sometimes you get a case where it's not just a flexor tendon that's injured, but as well they have a digital nerve injury. In that case, we need to have a little extra protection during the first three weeks to make sure that that digital nerve, which has hopefully been repaired, does not get stretched out during your rehabilitation process. In that case, what we do is just put a little extra padding inside our dorsal blocking splint to keep the finger in a slightly more flexed position. So, at this point, when you have your dice dorsal blocking splint with your patient resting in it, you take a piece of foam padding and you stick it behind their digit. In this case, we're going to assume that the middle finger is the injured finger. And we're going to place a little bit of foam padding right behind their middle phalanx so that they cannot straighten all the way. And you can see here as the client tries to straighten all the way, she is unable to straighten her finger all the way so that the tendon and the nerve are both then on slack at that point. That is how we protect the digital nerve when we have a flexor tendon and digital nerve injury. Thank you for joining us for today's quick tip.